At exactly 7.02 p.m. on June 11th of 2022, Pamela Martinez confirms her Uber Eats pickup from the Dairy Queen in Glendale, Arizona. She completes the delivery at 7.15, which was to be her last of the night. But just 15 minutes later, Pamela would be found dead in her car from a single gunshot. Was the delivery an ambush? Did she run into someone she knew? And why was her passenger window completely open but jammed against a tree? But the most interesting thing was what Pamela left behind to answer all these questions and ultimately solve her own case. Now, one might not think it when you hear 60 years old, but if you saw or knew Pamela, she had the looks and energy of a woman in the prime of her life. With a daily regimen of vegetable smoothies and vitamins, she was stronger and healthier than ever as she headed into her golden years, according to her daughter, Monique Daniels. She fondly describes her mother as a very active person. Her mom wore several hats at the West Phoenix High School she attended. She was a teacher, softball, and basketball coach. Having always been avid about fitness, her mom was also a bodybuilder up to about the time she passed. Now let's get back to that tragic day of June 11th and what happened in that 15 minute gap between 7.15 and 7.30. Here's a Google Earth shot of the area where Pamela's car was found, veered off to the side and fallen into a wash. As you can see in this area, there wasn't much going on, which might have emboldened the killer that much more by how secluded this section was. So surveillance from a local business captures a van driving on 61st Avenue traveling north of Bell Road. Here's Bell Road going east to west. So the van is heading this way. Pamela, after her final delivery, was heading south on 61st. Now the police have yet, at the time of this video, to disclose any specific knowledge of how the vehicles interacted, but they did say they believed it was a case of road rage. Whatever occurred as the vehicles encountered each other left Pamela's car on the opposite side of the road facing north, with the van facing southbound right next to her. Police said that Pamela's passenger window was completely rolled down, probably to exchange some words with the driver of the van. A witness who drove by the scene said that he saw a white man standing outside Pamela's driver's side door. When the witness slowed down to see if everything was okay, the man immediately went back to his van and drove off. The witness also noticed that Pamela's car started rolling slowly into the wash and calls the police. Police arrived just minutes later at 7.30 and found Pamela inside her car but unresponsive. Paramedics arrived shortly thereafter but sadly were not able to save Pamela, who besides leaving behind two heartbroken daughters, also left behind four grandchildren, soon to be five in just a few months. But she left something else behind, something that pointed detectives in just one direction. She had taken an eerie picture of a man sitting in a van. What makes it heart-dropping, it was from the vantage point of her rolled-down passenger window. Shortly after, it's believed that he shoots Pamela through that window, goes out and goes to her driver's side to make sure she was dead. That's when the witness drives by and he flees. Detectives said that if she had not taken that picture, with the scant amount of evidence they had and the randomness of the crime, they might have never been able to identify the shooter, who was identified just four days later after police completed a facial recognition search. And the man in Pamela's photograph is 62-year-old Rusty Raymond French, matching the description given by the witness as well. He was arrested without incident right in his driveway. Rusty vehemently denied being around the area at the time of the incident, though he didn't have a solid alibi. Detective showed Rusty a picture of himself in his van taken by the victim. The picture's metadata and geolocation indicating the picture was taken just seconds from the time of the shooting and in that area. Knowing there was no way to explain this, he told them finally, yes, it was him, but proceeded to show absolutely no remorse whatsoever for the murder, interrogators said. The bullet taken from Pamela's body would also come to match those in a handgun that was confiscated from his home. With the case being just about airtight, thanks to Pamela herself, Rusty Raymond French is now facing second-degree murder charges. Now here's where my dark mind jumps to conclusions, Dad. So as I did my research on this man, 
so there wasn't much information to gather, a lot of similar names and false leads, as to be expected. But one link to some website called truepeoplesearch.com gave me an address in Peoria, Arizona, of a 62-year-old male named Rusty Raymond French Sr. Now, Peoria is mere minutes from where the murder took place, so I do believe we found the right man. And of course, I can't show you guys the information on the screen because there's some sensitive info. You guys could easily Google it yourself. But the thing that jumped out to me is that he's had 14 previous addresses from Arizona to Tennessee to Iowa to Florida and back to Arizona, and that's just within a 30-year span. There's 30 more years of this man's life and living situations undocumented but i tell you all that to say this what person who is well into their 60s now finally just murders someone out of the blue with zero remorse to me it sounds highly unlikely he's probably done something like this before and who the hell changes houses 14 times in 30 years that's almost moving every two years that sounds like someone who does something terrible and just needs to get out of Dodge. So I wouldn't be surprised since now that the police have him dead to rights for one murder, a bunch more skeletons might be uncovered. Now, Dad, I really do believe that Pamela had a purpose when she ran into French that day. Not only did she take a lunatic off the streets, but my cynical mind believes that she also saved all his future victims because this dude doesn't look right and surely does not act right and I'm almost certain that he didn't just all of a sudden turn this way. So Pamela Ray Martinez was a beautiful woman living her best life that was taken away far too soon. Let's share a moment for her grieving family. I hope you enjoyed the story, Dad. I love you, and I'll be back soon with another.